Okay, here's a video on how I've been doing my grass. Uh, I've been asked how I've been doing it. It's been turning out well, so I thought I'd share it with this video. Um, I learned this from the guys over on, on the Chaos Group forum, so it's nothing I created. I just I kind of adopted the workflow. Here in 3ds Max, I do work in layers, so everything I have is on a layer. I use PSD Manager and I have the all the layers um, our PSD manager creates a mask for each layer so I have a site layer and then this mesh here if I control click that's my my grass so it's going to create a mask for everything on the site layer so um, I render this out, and if you're not familiar with PSD Manager, it creates one PSD file with all the elements and all the layer masks. So I'm gonna jump over here. Well, here I use um, uh, Force Pack Pro to scatter my grass. So I don't use this workflow for speed or to save on memory. I use it for the quality of the grass. So. If speed or memory is an issue for you, then you don't have to use PS or you don't have to use Force Pack Pro. You can just have um, a plane that you're gonna use in Photoshop to, to paste your your grass. But I like the subtleties of having the PSD Manager because the edges are nice. You see the the grass edges. Um, you can paint those in Photoshop. So there's other ways to do it. But in my case, my scenario. I like to use Force Pack Pro to scatter the grass, use PSD Manager to mask the area, and then I'll jump here in Photoshop. So here's that view, and there's my grass. So if I turn that off, you'll see how it looks out of Photoshop. I'm, I'm sorry, out of 3S Max. So that's the PSD, that's the Force Pack Pro grass, which is decent. And that just adds another level of realism. Let me dump that layer. So I'm gonna remove this layer and recreate it for you. So I am going to grab a grass texture. So I'm gonna use this texture map here. I'm gonna control A all. Control C, copy, come back over here and control V and paste. I'm going to slide this into place. Control T, stretch it out a little bit. And before I have to go back a step, I shouldn't have deleted that layer, that uh, folder, because I needed something from it. So I'm going to back out. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to paste that grass back in there, put it in place, control T, stretch it out. And then from the um, PSD manager, these are all my layers that created. So if I scroll down and control click on the site, oh, that didn't work, grass. That's odd. So it's the grass. Control click on the grass. And then Alt click on the. There we go. Not Alt click. Just so back. Get rid of that. Control click on the grass. In my case, it's the grass layer. Marquee little dancing ants. There is the mask. With the grass I pasted in, highlighted. I just picked the, um, the mask tool here and then it masks perfectly. So these are those subtle edges that I like that come with the um, Force Pack Pro. So now another thing that PSD Manager did was it brought over my elements. And one of the elements is the raw total lighting. So I'm going to take that out of that folder. Now I can delete that. 
I want to Alt, click in between, and then it'll attach just to that layer. So there's the shadows. And then it would be set to multiply. So that's pasted in using the mask of PSD manager. That's using the very raw light, total lighting, set to multiply, and link to that layer. And then I usually desaturate a little bit. Again, Alt, click, and usually a negative 20% does the job. So I have those three layers, highlight, control G, create a group for it, and then I name it. So that's how I've been creating my grass. And it works for anything, it works for concrete it works for um, virtually anything in the key in my workflow is PSD manager and um, and that one and, and the layer the element the um, v-ray total lighting again here in 3s max PSD manager let me see why that was the grass layer Control click. Oh, my Max is acting wonky here. Let's see what we have. Okay. It's the grass layer because the forced pack is on the grass layer. And my site is under the grass. So that's why we couldn't, it, it wouldn't see it. So, when I control clicked the site layer, it just picked in between the Forest Pro grass. Had I not had the Forest Pro grass on, rendered it, then it would have been the site layer I would be uh, pasting and cutting into. So render that out. It renders it out 32 bit, 30 DPI to that folder, V6, using the render elements. And there's that total lighting. Um, by default, it's linear dodge. If I set it to uh, multiply, it'll save it like that. And then those are my layers right there. In Photoshop, I simply paste the picture I want to use. I mask it using the PSD Manager mask. Then I turn on the I. Pull the VR raw total lighting above and link it and set it to multiply. And then I desaturate it a little bit. And then that's how I've been doing my grass. And um, I've had nothing but compliments on the grass since I've been doing it this way. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, thanks for asking. And I have a few more of these videos I want to record, so I'll share with them once I do. Thank you.